When you think of making one night trip from Tokyo and start to search, probably the name you see first is this Hakone. There is a reason for this. Hakone is a mountain hot spring resort located in the southeast of Mount Fuji, about 80 kilometers, 50 miles from Tokyo. Hakone is closer from Tokyo, only about 90 minutes to the entrance of the mountain, and it offers not only just the hot springs, but also dynamic scenes of volcanoes and historic sites. But more than all of that, Hakone is very easy to get around for tourists without a car. There is a seamless connection of mountain railways, cable car, ropeway, and ferry throughout the sightseeing spots. Plus, frequent bus service runs across the different parts of the mountain. But in such a popular destination, there's a con about it too. It's overcrowded. Great, but crowded. But just like any other tourist spots in Japan, if you just go one block from the main route, you can find a quiet place that you can enjoy nature and history. The touristy brings another benefit of convenience and lots of attractions to see. Today, I'd like to show you Hakone. How to get there from Tokyo, what tickets to get, and how you can put in your itinerary in Japan. There are several ways to get to Hakone by train or by bus. Before I explain about it, it's good to remember the key stations, Odawara and Hakone Yumoto, which are the entrance of Hakone. Another good thing to note is, Hakone is not just one area around one station, it's spread across the different areas of the mountains. The most major route from Tokyo is taking Odakyu Line from Shinjuku Station. The regular express train takes you to Odawara, and a special limited express called Romanska takes you to further to Hakone Yumoto. Another popular route is to get to Odawara by Tokaido Shinkansen. It's a common route for JR pass holders or travelers who want to access Hakone quickly from Tokyo station side of Tokyo. The price wise, taking the regular train of Odakyu Line is the cheapest. There is also a highway bus from Shinjuku to Hakone that enters Hakone from Gotenba side. It doesn't go through the major hot springs area of Hakone and go to Togendai, where the ropeway and ferry connect. This is convenient when you go to Mount Kintoki for hiking or Sengokubara area. You can consider it as a way to go back to Tokyo too. But this bus route is not included in the Hakone Free Pass. Hakone Free Pass is a pass offered by Odakyu Railway that includes major transportations, mountain railway, cable car, ropeway, ferry, and buses. So if you have this pass, you can get around almost anywhere in Hakone. Drop off and on without any extra charge. From Shinjuku, the pass includes simple round trip to Odawara. Odawara and ahead is free pass area that you can get on and off during either two days or three days. The two days pass from Shinjuku station is 6,100 yen as of today for adults and 1,100 yen for children. In case you use Shinkansen, you can get the pass without the Odakyu line part. When it comes to this kind of passes, always what matters is, is it worth it? In most cases, yes, but depends on the route. This pass is a must get if you are visiting the golden route of Hakone from Shinjuku to Hakone Yumoto and all the mountain route and come back by the same route. But if you don't take those transportations and just use the pass, you might not need the pass. My Hakone Free Pass includes fair part of this route from Shinjuku to Odawara, so you can only take the non reserved regular trains. If you like to get to Odawara a little more faster with comfortable environment, you can purchase romance car tickets in addition to the pass. Today I'm using the digital Hakone Free Pass through this site called Emot. In case you use the digital Hakone Free Pass, you can find this yellow sign. And show you a QR code to the machine or the person to enter the station. You need one smartphone for one ticket, and you need to be able to connect to the internet during your travel to show the QR code. I was originally booking this first romance car of the day to Hakone, but it leaves 7 37 and it was a little late for a day trip. Also, when I checked the seat map of the train, it was full and I had to sit next to someone. So, I decided to take one earlier train going to Odawara 
and decided to head to Hakone Yumoto by local train from there. You should take south exit. It's above ground. So much more busy in the morning. They don't sell any foods on the train except the vending machine. So I recommended to get something before arriving Shinjuku station. And this private railway company, Odakyu, has been serving a special limited express called Romance Car. The driver's seat is attached to the rooftop, so you have full front view. But right now, the only one type of the car, GSE, with symbolic red color, have this viewing seat. If you book one month before, you can get this seat without any extra charge. But you need to get it online exactly at 10 a.m. of one month before the travel date. Recently, with the increase of business demands, they use more of this EXE, which has no view seat. But still, front of the car has a large window that you can see some front view. For the Romance Car Reservation, you can check this site called eRomance Car. In case you can't find the seat to the Romance Car going to Hakone Yumoto, you might be able to change the destination to Odawara and there might be some seats available. In that case, you can change to local train and head to Hakone Yumoto. If you choose a specific carriage number, it lets you select your favorite seat from the seating map. In the morning train, I recommend to take the seat on the right side because left side gets lots of morning sunshine and you might end up just shutting the curtain and you see a little bit of Mount Fuji on the right side. On the seat map, this means there's a kind of wall of the pillar between windows, so you usually have better view if you choose the one. The wall is behind you. After 1 hour and 12 minutes, I arrived at the Odawara station and there are some more tips about choosing your seat. When you go to Hakone, I recommend you to take carriage number 1 or a smaller number because that is closer when you change to the Hakone Mountain Railways. In case you change to the Hakone Mountain Railways right away, it makes a big difference you can get seat or not for the 45 minutes ride of the Hakone Mountain Railway. The platform of Hakone Mountain Railway is right in front of the carriage number one. And this is the same for both Odawara Station and Hakone Yumoto Station. So it's good to remember on the way to Hakone, always try to take car number one or a front car. I took the local train to Hakone Yumoto. From here, the route of Hakone starts. Hakone is surrounded by the caldera mountain made by huge eruption. And there are mountains and lake ashi inside the caldera. Only this Yumoto area has a little bit broken point of the Caldera Mountain Circle. There is a smooth connection of mountain railway, cable cars, and ropeway continuing to the volcano and further to Lake Ashi's ferry. And the major hot springs hotels and ryokans are located in this area, Yumoto, Miyanoshita, Kowakidani to Gora area. Now let's take Hakone Mountain Railway. This is the second most steep railway in the world and has three switchbacks on the way to Gora. It takes long and you arrive at Gora station about 45 minutes later. The train goes in the forest so you don't really see much view from your windows. After you arrive at Gora, you have a smooth connection to the cable car. And this takes you to Sounzan station in about 10 minutes.
I arrived at Sounzan Station by cable car. So from Hakone Yumoto Station, it takes about 40 to 45 minutes to Gora Station, and from there it's about 10 minutes to this Sounzan Station. It's all going up the mountain. And next to is Ropeway. Take a foot of us here and you can see the ocean over there. It goes up even higher than from Sonzan Station, and suddenly after the peak, you see the dynamic view of volcanoes and Mount Fuji. In case you use bus one way, this is a surprise only for the travelers using the counterclockwise route of the Hakone route. This is Owakudani Kuro Tamago Kam, means black egg. So you boil the egg with uh, hot spring water, it turns out black, so it's called kuro tamago. So I have the Owaku Dani, it's the uh, middle of the volcano that uh, you can see the volcanic activities in Hakone. Lots of steams. One time it was closed because it became too active, but now it reopened. In some system changes. Before you could walk around a lot of areas, but now you have to make a reservation. And I thought of doing it, but it's really limited slot. And also, couldn't find any English information. So this time I'd like to refrain from this. It has an amazing view of Mount Fuji. It should be more beautiful in a month with lots of snow. Okay, now let's go to Togendai, Lake Ashinoko. Now I see Lake Ashinoko. Lake Ashi or Lake Ashinoko? Maybe you might know for Evangelion. Somehow everyone got off at the Ubako station. So at Ubako, you don't have to get off, you can just stay. But everyone on this long bay got off at the Ubako. Now, and the next one is the last stop, Togendai stop. And from there, you can take ferry of the Lake Ashinoko. The waiting area of the ferry was very crowded, but I found this sign with 600 yen extra cost for one way, 1,110 yen round trip. You can get on the premium deck of the ferry and 960 yen if you have Hakone free pass. So I purchased this. It was a good choice because not only you can just get on the ferry early, you can have so much more space in the ferry. This is a deck. Thank you. 
The ferry has two destinations Hakone Mach Port or Moto Hakone Port. Hakone Mach Port is close to the historic site of the Hakone section, and the Moto Hakone Port has Hakone Shrine nearby. It seems most people go off at the Moto Hakone Port. This is at the、uh, Moto Hakone port. Moto Hakone port. And this one is a little more busy, and almost everyone got off here. There are famous Hakone shrine behind me. Until here is the golden route of Hakone that probably everyone follows. But from here, what's next depends on your itinerary, how long you are going to stay in Hakone. And what do you like to see in Hakone? If you are going to stay at the Ryokan, you might want to arrive there by 3 or 4 pm, so you might want to head there after seeing one or two places, so you can have enough time to enjoy hot springs and dinner. If you are going to see a museum, you might want to go back the same route and go to Gora and take a bus to different museums such as open air museums and glasses museums and polar museums. If you are going to Mishima and take Shinkansen to Kyoto or Osaka, you can take the bus N from here. If you are going to Kawaguchiko, you can go back to Togendai by ferry and you can take bus W to Gotenba and change the bus to Kawaguchiko. If you are going back to Hakone Yumoto and enjoy Odawara, either take the same route back or there are three bus routes from this Moto Hakone bus stop to Yumoto Onsen. The bus H is going down near the mountain railway. Stops all the small hot springs area of Hakone, such as Kowakidani and Miyanoshita. K is a route going down to Yumoto via Hakone's Kyukaido, the old route on the mountain. And R is almost non stop express bus line, which uses a route called Hakone Shindo and go to the Hakone Yumoto station. R might be faster, but H is running the most frequently. The bus schedule might change. So, you might want to check the latest timetable before your trip. Between Hakone Mach Port and Moto Hakone Port, you can also take this old trail surrounded by cedar trees that used to be connecting Tokyo and Kyoto. There are several things to see around here, but I decided to go to the old trails of Tokaido. It's also a good place to if you like to stay away a little bit from the crowds. So, I ran out of time to go to Sekisho and、uh, Hakone Shrine, as I was staying here long, so I decided to head back to Togendai by ferry and head to Sengokubara. Sengokubara is the area of Hakone. It's not along the major transportation route, so it's a little bit off the main route, but there are lots of hotels around here. During the autumn season, you can see the field of Tsusuki. I think it's called Japanese Pampas grass in English. As I chose to see all trails of Tokaido and Sengokubara, I didn't have time to go to museum or other facilities, even hot springs. So you might want to put one or two must see items for you after arriving at the Moto Hakone port and head there. There are also many hot spring facilities that you can use for the day trip. In case you spend one night in Hakone, you can take your time in the hotel. And now I came down to Hakone Yumoto. I was on the bus to Hakone Yumoto, but I decided to change to another bus going to Gora and take mountain railways, which was probably a mistake because it took about one hour longer than the bus. Hakone Yumoto has lots of souvenir shops and restaurants, and you can go back to Shinjuku directly, so it's a perfect place to do shopping before you leave Hakone area. I often get questions about Hakone, so let me answer some of them. Can I go to Hakone in one day trip? And the answer is yes, as I did, you can go there in one day trip. But Hakone is a hot springs town, 
So you might want to stay at the hospital 旅館 if possible, especially if you're not staying at other 旅館 in your itinerary in Japan. Also, I honestly failed a little bit in this itinerary because I couldn't see at all. I only could see the Suzuki field because I didn't have time. I was also spending like one hour thinking what to do and wasted a lot of time. So I also couldn't have <laughs> like lunch actually because I tried to go in the soba restaurant. It was so busy and、uh, let me just wait and I ended up not eating until the night in Odawara station. So I recommend it to get something, eat something in the train if possible, and also try to plan well for what you want to do. And the second question is Can I go to Kaguchiko and Hakone in a day? That might be a little difficult if you are taking public transportation. If you have a tour like that, probably you can. But Kaguchiko takes for one day too. I posted a video about Kaguchiko, but that I also ran out of time. So you might want to stay in Hakone or Kaguchiko that night. Or if you go to from Tokyo as a day trip, you might need two days for each of them. And in case you go to Kaguchiko, you can go to Gotenba station and take the bus. But that takes time. And can I put the Hakone's one night trip on the way to Kyoto? I think that is yes, you can. Hakone is on the way to Kyoto, and you can take Shinkansen from Odawara or Mishima station. And now I came back to busy Shinjuku. Hakone is a great place for a day trip or a one night, two night trip destinations, and it certainly gives a different vibes to your travel. There's another travel destination as popular as Hakone, which is Nikko. Some people say Nikko is better. Please let me know which attracts you more.